guys. Jeff and Riddick here. Um, we. I want to make a quick announcement regarding the magnet fishing that we were doing. Um, I started having really, really bad headaches, guys. So I went to the doctor and they did a bunch of, um, what do they call them? Uh, cats, cats, cat scans. scans and stuff like that and they found out so when I was a kid I accidentally got a Hot Wheel car lodged up in my sinuses and uh, I thought maybe over time it would work itself out and it never has so apparently you're saying a whole Hot Wheel or just like a wheel you know the whole car like a actual Hot Wheel car is up in my sinus cavity still since when I was a kid. And I guess that kind of explains my voice. But, um, so yeah, I'm still having these headaches, guys. And the magnet apparently was starting to loosen it from its original spot. And that has caused some severe uh, uneven pressure and headaches and things like that so uh, we're gonna put the magnet fishing aside for now because it's I can't have it that close to my face anymore so that actually inspired me to do something that you will see in a bit we'll come back to that I'll come back to that um <clears throat> So we want to talk about uh, two songs today. One of them, <coughs> one of them is uh, Bruno Mars and Anderson Cooper, and they did a song called "Leave the Door Open." And I thought it was a cool, nice jazz song. I thought it had good. Show them Bruno. We got Bruno and Anderson. I thought it was a cool jazz song, a little fun jazz beat, and uh, I didn't like uh, that it sounded, it did sound like a song from a movie. It sounded old. It sounded old. It's um, 2021. Yeah, people, I, it's cool to play jazz music in 2021, but you could be uh, more modern. It sounded old. It sounded old. And why would you leave your door open? Because... Uh, you can let in things like bugs, um, uh, people, dogs, burglars, burg burglars, um, you know, and asbestos and stuff like that. It's not, it's not really, you know, it's not smart to leave your door open. Uh, that's asking for trouble in my opinion. So the, the song sounded okay. Uh, song topic not that great I don't even understand why you would brag about having your door open but um, I give it a 2 out of 5 because Bruno Mars has always been a good uh, singer I didn't know Anderson Cooper made music what did you give it? I didn't like it well you had to give it something a 1 1 out of 5 Bruno Mars hasn't really wowed me yet ever? No. Okay. Well, the next... More of a Maroon 5 type of guy. Yeah, Maroon... Well, that's fair, I guess. Um, I do like... Mar I do like Maroon 5 and Adam Levy. <laughs> so, the next song we want to talk about is huge right now. And it is called... Uh, your Power by Billy Ray Eilish. And I thought it was boring. I thought it was really boring. And it made me want to go to sleep. It made me want to go to sleep. It made me tired. Uh, and I swear I've heard it before. Okay. I swear my head is it's in excruciating pain, guys. Uh, I swear I've heard some Tylenol. Are you allowed to do that? I think you can take some Tylenol. It's not gonna hurt you. I'll look into that. 
but um I thought it was boring uh this new Billy Ray uh Eilish song thought I've heard it before this chorus sounded like very familiar uh I didn't like now let's talk about the music video real quick I didn't like that there was a giant snake wrapped around her in it um it gave me a lot of anxiety and I can't imagine how she felt doing it. I think that was unfair of the director. Uh, and was it a stunt double? Because she has, as you can see in my shirt, she has green hair and she had uh, yellow hair in this one. So I don't think it was actually Billie Eilish and maybe that explains the snake. Uh, it was probably a stunt double. Um, do you know anything about, what do you think? I just wanted to go to bed. I mean, snakes are gross. Um, snakes are gross. It was a pretty boring song. I don't really remember much about it. Was it Billy in the video? It kind of looked like her, but her hair is different now, which kind of sucks if she changed it. So she it. did change her hair? Probably, because that means we have to spend more money now to buy more... Yeah, guys, Props. because we we actually um, we, it's a waste of time and money. Well, you'll see it here in a minute. We we started a new show and it is featuring Billie Eilish, but apparently she has yellow hair now, not green. So it is kind of a big waste of time and money we did. Um, but anyway. I was, when I went to the hospital for the Hot Wheel, I uh, had the coolest doctor, I mean the coolest doctor I've ever met, okay? And it inspired me to sort of make a show about him or something. And so I came up with this idea called The Doc, and it's about oh, just a really cool doctor. No, it's not. It's a real. It's a good idea. I think people. I think people are gonna like it. Bought a stethoscope. We already don't have enough money. But if we put money into the show, we might be able to get money back. So that's the plan here, guys. I do need money to get this out because the Hot Wheels in a worse place than it was before, and it's causing me a lot of pain. So we need. Um, be putting your money to go to the hospital not make your own but I thought the doctor was cool and it was inspiring and the doc is the product of it uh, and I guess you guys can take a look at that uh, swirl the tape <coughs> I'm the duck. Who do we have here? What do we got going on today? <coughs> I think I'm sick, Doc. Oh, really? 
Yeah, I, I think I smoked too much pot. Marijuana? I got just the thing for you. What's this? They're called Flaming Hot Cheetos, okay? And it's to help with your munchies. I got a prescription for them right here. But, but, but what about all the weed I smoked? Aren't I in trouble? Nah, Billy. It's all good, man. But remember this. Weed kills, okay? Two, 25, two, hundred, two million people die a day from marijuana. There's nothing cool or fun about it. I would seriously suggest ditching the Mary Jane ASAP. My notes tell me it's not good for you. Well, thanks, Doc. No problem, Billy.